there's a travesty that has swept the film industry, or more so society itself, a form of discrimination that supersedes all others and has ultimately gotten out of hand. I'm talking about, of course, the unnecessary hate against the minions. Because you see, the minions are us. For years, literature and art have strived to create a conduit that would perfectly relate ideals to others, a creation that humanity itself could reflect upon and learn from. And so these ageless, sexless, balding like George Costanza looking creatures were created to be our gateway. These genderless, yellow looking nuggets are in fact everybody. They reference our pop culture, they reflect our carnal desires, and their language is a mixture of all of ours, creating a form of communication that not even a rival could. In fact, Minions is the highest grossing foreign language film of all time. They're the cure to xenophobia, sexism, racism, and of course, pessimism. Yet, even though they only give love, they only receive hate. As Matthew 25, 41 states, Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, ye cursed into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his minions. Are we damned just as the minions are damned? Is our anger just a reflection of our own self-hatred, of the hostility towards our fellow man? Perhaps, perhaps we are the despicable ones. For true change comes only when you realize that love is love, is love, is minions. Someone's literally bound to take this seriously.